Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. Today, we're making a nice kind of spring, early summer dish. We're making lobster with peas and morels and a nice beurre blanc to go with that. But before we have a look at the ingredients here, do me the huge favor, if you're not supporting the channel yet, and a lot of you are not, I can tell by the statistics, so please hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon. There's a lot of you watching that are not subscribing, so please subscribe. But now, let's have a look at the board and the ingredients. Now, as you can see, the proportions are a bit off. There's just one lobster tail with a lot of other things, but that's because I have some other lobster tails and I'm making this for a, a bigger group of friends, but I'm showing it to you with just one lobster tail. So that's why the disproportion is there. There's too many peas, there's too many morals for just one tail. But we'll make it all, and then we'll just make one portion for us. So we have the lobster tail, important. We need the shell, but I'll show you that later. We have some peas, we have some morals. We have, yeah, it was originally three shallots. Now it looks like five two fell apart. We have, for our beurre blanc, a mix of wine and vinegar. And I normally do normal vinegar, so not white wine, just standard vinegar. I do a one to six ratio. So there's in here, there's 50 milliliters of vinegar and 300 milliliters of white wine. And to go with that, something really, <laughs> something really light, 450 grams of butter, non-salted butter. So that's the beurre blanc. But what we're also doing is we're using the shallots and they go into the wine and vinegar mix and we're also using the shell of the lobster tail. So it's gonna be a very uh, light hint of lobster flavor to the beurre blanc as well. And then we also have some tarragon to decorate with. And we have even more butter, but that's in here already. I'll show you because we're making some brown butter just to go on top of the um, beurre blanc. But I'm not going to show you how to do it. Just make brown butter. You know how to do it. And if not, check this episode here where I'm making brown butter. But now there's a little bit of prep you need to do. I've showed you, well, I showed you, I did some already, like picking the peas. And I'll just show you here what I did. You just open it like this, and all the peas come out. You might need to help a bit with your hand, but that's how you prep the peas. But we'll prep the morals a bit more and we'll prep the lobster tail. And I forgot one thing we need to prep, and that's the shallots. Just slice them down in like three millimeter slices, something like that. We're not gonna eat them, we're just using them to flavor the beurre blanc. So they will be sieved out or strained out. So you don't have to worry too much on how precise you are with your cut. If some are a bit thicker, some are a bit thinner, it really doesn't matter. We just want the taste of the shallot. So do that, and then we'll move on to the morals. Now for our morals, we're just gonna cut slices of about a centimeter. So like this. So do all of your morals. That's the last one. Now before we move over to the lobster, put on a pot of water, bring it to a boil, and we're gonna boil our piece in there for three minutes. But I'm not showing you that either because it's quite easy and simple and boring but uh, get your pot on. And now for a lobster. The easiest way is to take it like this and squeeze. And you hear it crack. And then you can just open it like this. Make sure that you get the bottom one as well. And then you lift it finally and gently kind of ease it out of the, I hope this works, yeah. And don't forget, we keep this, but we pull it into smaller pieces, and this will give our beurre blanc a wonderful kind of hint of lobster. It's not gonna be a lobster beurre blanc, but it will have a hint of lobster. So keep that, and now for the intestine, you've probably seen me do this before. You go in, and you try to find it. It's not always easy. Uh, I think we have it. Yeah. 
we get the point. Let's see if we can go further up. Because you have to be difficult. You have to be difficult. You have to be careful not to cut it with a knife. And you can also open it this way and see if you can grab it here. Sometimes it's possible to kind of grab a hold of it, but I don't think we got it all. Let's see towards the end. It's all out. And there we have a lobster. Now there's only one left thing to do with it. And that's to run it through some spits so that it stays straight. I normally do one on each side. One on the other. And it's easier if you kind of lay it flat and then feel with your hands where it is so that you don't stick it through anywhere. So that's ready for frying afterwards. We'll put this aside. Um, we'll wait a bit to move over until I manage to boil the peas. And we're going to just keep them warm at like 50 degrees in the oven, 50 degrees Celsius. Um, but then we'll move over there and we'll fry up the morals first. Then we'll make the beurre blanc. And as a last step, we'll fry up the lobster. So I'll see you over there in a bit once I'm done with the peas. I just th thought I'd show you. You have to be careful with copper pans when you make brown butter because they stay hot for quite a while. But as you can see, if you see the bottom is kind of nice and nutty, that means it's ready. So we'll put this to the side. I will keep it in the oven to keep it warm. And I thought I'll just also show you our piece into the oven too. A bit of neutral oil and a bit of butter. Our morals go in. A bit of shaky shaky. Bit of salt. So these are almost done. I'll give them a quick try one. Hmm. Perfect. So we put this in the oven as well just to keep warm. And then we move on with our beurre blanc. For our beurre blanc, we start with a little bit of butter and our shallots, as well as some lobster peel. Obviously, it's not called peel, it's called shell. You just have to pardon my Swedish English. Because there, a peel and a shell has the same word. We don't want to fry this, we just want to sweat it a bit. already smell the nice shallot flavor. You can see the, the sh lobster shell is changed into a nice kind of bright red. And now we're ready to put in our wine and vinegar mix. And what we're looking to do now is to reduce this so that there's just a couple of tablespoons left. To bring it up to quite a heavy boil or hard boil. Just take a little taste of this to see which direction we're heading. Mm. Very nice. And now we need to strain this and come back with just the liquid. And that's our liquid. We'll reduce it a little bit further. At this stage we can already add a little bit of salt. And then once we mixed in the butter, we'll add the rest. And get your mixer ready. Or your whisk, but it's easier with the mixer. And now we can start adding the butter bit by bit. It's difficult to do this when I'm filming, so I have to. I'm probably going to be in the way a bit. And I've also turned off the stove now. Just keep adding little by little until you've added all the butter. And I actually don't need all of the butter, so we'll only need about 400 grams. That's enough already.
Now we just need to make sure that it tastes good. So let's get a spoon in there. Mm. Amazing. But we need a little bit more salt and a little bit more acidity. I'll say maybe a tablespoon. Give it another try. there. So now I just put this to the side, keep it warm, and we're down to frying the lobster. That's basically the last part of the cooking. So again it's a mix of oil and butter. Just let it heat up first. And lobster is a very quick fry. Probably not more than a minute aside. A bit of salt. I can even turn it. You can't really see it, but normally you can see here, if this is still completely translucent, it still needs a bit of time. Probably another 45 seconds. And there we are. Now we're ready to plate it up. Now what we have to do is not to forget to take out the steel rods. And then we'll cut off the end. That's for the chef. And then in about centimeter slices. We'll just move that over. And now we're basically ready to serve this up. But before we do so, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, only takes you a second, but it's so valuable for me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. So don't forget, thumbs up. Now let's plate this up. And we'll start with our piece. Morals. Oh, a double one. One that fell into another. I'll eat that like that. And our lobster. Now obviously if you you could do a tail for two. But we're going to do a tail for one. And now for our beurre blanc. I mix this quickly now before we're serving it. And we just go around. And for our brown butter, brown butter is nice. So we put it a bit everywhere. And last but not least, some tarragon. And there we are, our lobster piece and morals with a beurre blanc. Let's dig in. Get a bit of everything. Mm. It is so good. And you won't believe it, the, the little hints that the brown butter and the tarragon gives just lifts this dish. Mm. I just love the blanc. For me, it's a really versatile sauce. Mm. It can be used for so many things. Ideally, I would eat this for the spoon. And I like the lobster when it's still a little bit classy. Not raw, but a little bit classy. 
and you can just taste the sweetness of the lobster meat. Amazing. Now, yes, I know it is a bit of a luxurious dish. It's not every day where you can have lobster. But if you're celebrating something special, and it's season for lobster and green peas, give this a try. You're not going to regret it. And as you know, if you follow my channel, I love seafood. I even have a tattoo tomorrow. I don't have a lobster yet, but I have a Swedish langoustine, which is the smaller brother. But that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed the dish. If you did, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Or if you have a questions on the dish, a question on the dish, then leave a comment below. And don't forget, if you're not doing so yet, subscribe and click the bell icon so that you get notifications. But I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.